Come on, I've got an idea. With little data from the FDR, NTSB investigator John McAdill comes up with an unusual way to analyze the power coming from Flight 90's engines by analyzing the sound they made. Jet engines contain turbines that make different sounds depending on how quickly they're spinning. When the engine needs more power, the turbine spins faster and the frequency of the sound changes. You ready to go? Yeah. The okay. sound of Flight 90's engines should tell McAdill how much power they were generating. And thanks to the unique design of the 737, with its engines mounted close to the cockpit, he already has a recording of the sound he needs. They play back the cockpit voice recorder in a soundproof room. 120. B1. Can you take the stick shaker out? Forward, forward. Come on. Lose the crew voices. Forward, forward. The technician eliminates the other sounds in the cockpit one by one until all that's left is the sound of the engines. The results are dramatic. Investigators now know that the Boeing 737's engines weren't running at full power during takeoff. What they don't know is why. McAdill has no hard evidence that the sensor was blocked, but he decides to follow a hunch. He uses a piece of tape to simulate the effect of ice blocking the engine sensor. He recreates the actions of the pilots on the day of the flight. OK, start her up. And he records the sound of the engines from inside the cockpit. Keep throttling up. He increases power until the engine gauges match the target set by the crew of Flight 90. Got it. Blocking the sensors on the test flight should create the same reduction in engine performance as on Flight 90. Both engines should sound identical. OK, let's see what we've got. McAdill compares the sound of his test flight to the engine noise captured during Flight 90's takeoff. That's a perfect match. Investigators believe the ice and the wings degraded the plane's performance when combined with low engine power, though. It was enough to rob the pilots of the lift they needed to climb. The Air Florida disaster was a wake-up call for better flight safety in winter conditions. In the aftermath of this accident, northern airports around the world improved de-icing facilities so that pilots can de-ice near the runway just before takeoff. Powerful technology now clears runways faster, helping airports avoid long delays after a heavy snowfall. Since the Air Florida disaster, pilots and regulators better understand the risk of winter flight.